Hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. If you're new here, welcome. If you're one of my OGs, thank you again for coming back. Um, so I just got finished editing <clears throat> my video that is supposed to be coming out tonight. I had it edited last night, but I think I had to go in and do a little bit more. Just for simple fact is... <sighs> guys... I'm a little gnome obsessed. If you guys haven't noticed, um, my new subscribers probably didn't know that. But anyway, <clears throat> I had nine gnomes in this video, you guys. And it was up to 47 minutes. And I edited as much as I possibly could to not bore you guys. But 47 minutes is a little long. So I had to... Um, get rid of some of them. Uh, I'm probably going to end up doing it into two videos because I think 47 minutes is just a little too long. <laughs> so, um, so stick around for that if you guys are excited. If you love gnomes, definitely click to the notification bell so you're aware of that. Um, also guys, just so you guys are also aware, I have <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little bit of allergies or something going on. Um, uh, I'm changing my days. Um, for the OGs that have been here for long enough, they kind of know, or they have known, that my scheduling is kind of fell off the deep end a little bit. Um, I used to do Saturdays and Tuesdays. Um, but I've been posting a lot of it on... On Sundays now because I'm doing a lot more collabs so is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start posting Sundays and then I'm gonna do Wednesdays because Wednesdays kind of gives me a couple of day, extra days to recoup and get some more DIYs and stuff going for you and everything um, we'll try that out if uh, if you like that idea give me a thumbs up well give me a thumbs up anyway but you know, let me know down below what you guys think of, your, of the new schedule and everything. Let me know if that works for you. Most people will just watch whenever, but just let me know what you guys think. Um, the collabs mostly are on Sundays anyway, so. But enough of me yapping. Let's get into these DIYs. Let's go. DIY number one. <clears throat> So here, to, I'm going to start out with uh, making a couple of little feet molds. Um, I'm using DOS clay, uh, this mold I got off of Amazon. Um, I do do two molds of each set, so just so you guys know. So I do two of the bigger feet and two of the smaller feet. Um, I start out with the bigger feet because I thought that they would be um, the right size for the project that I'm making, but they're a little small or a little too big. So, but anyway, um, <clears throat> I have two of these mushrooms. Um, I am painting them with Mod Podge because of the gloss, and it's easier, so my coats will cover better. So I am just going over with a light coat of the Mod Podge on these and then I'm going to go over on this one with uh, my Sandy Blonde from DIY Paint. Um, this one I ended up uh, shutting off my camera after I started recording and then I forgot to turn it back on. Um, um, after that was dry. I'm going in with a little bit of antiquing wax and I'm just kind of giving the shadows of the details around the edges of the mushroom. And then I'm going with a little baby wipe and just kind of wiping that back a little bit. And then I'm going to take Chestnut by Apple Barrel and I'm just going to take a end of my paintbrush and I'm just going to dab and make little tiny spots 
And this is kind of when my camera, or my camera, my light falls on me, I believe. Or maybe it's later on, I don't remember. But I end up having issues and then I forgot to turn my camera back on after I um, end up finishing him. So I'm going in with this one with sea glass. Um, that's the paint color. And guys, these turn out so cute. These are my absolute favorite. But I did the same thing with this one. I painted the... I did the Mod Podge and then I did uh, two coats on both of these, by the way. Two coats of paint. And then I do... I didn't do that on him yet, but I need to, well, I have now, but I mean on, in this video, um, I do quote these again with another coat of Mod Podge because DIY paint is reactivated with water. And then I'm just doing the same thing with this as, um, as the other one. And I'm not exactly sure why my music's not playing. But now it starts. Anyway. I did the same thing with the antique wax. And then I'm taking a daubing tool that I get from Dollar Tree. And I'm just taking um, Antique White by Apple Barrel. And I'm just speckling this one. This one's my absolute favorite, you guys. This one... He stole my heart. I want to keep this one so bad, but I know that these will be a big seller. I need to find some more mushrooms. My Dollar Tree is out. I went searching for them after this and I cannot find any more. Um, so this fabric I got from uh, Walmart. Uh, this is just a scrap piece that I have in my stash that I used from a previous project. And I just kind of measured it, and I'm just kind of cutting in the back. I use my X-Acto knife, and I'm cutting from the back. Do not cut from the front, and do not use scissors on this cutting from the from the front. Because you're going to want it to have the fur. And if you cut it like a normal haircut or whatever, you aren't going to have the beard look. It's going to look like... A regular haircut and you don't want that you want the beard look I'm also gonna take another little piece of that scrap piece and I'm gonna kind of make a little bit of a mustache for it because excuse me because we have um, the mushroom top I can't really glue the hat down to the nose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the beard down and then I'm going to glue the little nose down and then I'm going to glue the little other piece of fur down like, uh, like I would have um, a little mustache for him. And that's going to hide that edge piece of your nose. It kind of gives it a little bit more detail as well. <clears throat> now after that's done, I'm going to lift up his beard a little bit and I'm going to glue down his little toes that I painted with um, some uh, paint that I mixed up. I had to make my own flesh colored paint because the clay dries white. So And then that's how they look together. Um, I'm going to add some details on top here. Uh, I have a little bit of this moss. This moss came from Walmart. And I'm just getting like little little chunks. Um, just ripping them in pieces. 
I don't want too many, um, just enough to where it looks like, you know, they're out in the wilderness and stuff that they've been in the forest and stuff, you know. And then I did do the Mod Podge on this little guy already, so I'm going to start gluing my mo moss onto him now, too. And then I also picked up some um, cute little, uh, I had a couple more in my stash that I found. I just recently found them. I didn't know I had any more. Um, but I have a couple of little ladybugs that I found in my stash. I just recently ordered some and I was actually waiting for them to arrive at my house. Um, but I had these in my stash already. So I added these little guys to it. I found this little daisy that I added to my little blue one. And that's actually just from scrapbook paper. It's like a scrapbook sticker or whatever. Um, but the ones that I ordered are uh, from Amazon. So you can pick those up off of Amazon. DIY number two. And I show better pictures of them in the final reveal, you guys. So please stick around until the final reveal. They are the cutest things ever. So this is the only one that I'm actually going to show you how I am doing this. Because otherwise it just gets repetitive. So I have a vase and I just cut the sock where the heel is. And I stick it in there just so it's easier to pour the rice. I pour um, kind of just enough to weigh the sock down to where he has more of a, um, to where he sits up better. And then I'm stuffing the rest of it with polyfill just to kind of give him more of a body. And this is going to be kind of more of your preference. It's going to kind of depend on how fat you want him, how tall you want him, whatever. Um, this one, I do not have is not going to be at the final reveal because this one is actually for my mom and I gave it to her for Mother's Day. This one's going to be a little girl and I put this one, I put a little rubber band around, um, around the, the body of it. Um, I kind of made it into a little bit of a, um, a head. Um, so she has a neck kind of, um, girls are a little more, uh, detailed because you don't have the beard to cover the body. So um, you always have to make clothes and stuff for them. So they're a little bit more tedious. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this, don't get me wrong. But they're a little bit more time consuming. So I'm going to be kind of making this little outfit out of this sock. Um, I'm just kind of trimming it down. I'm going to try to make uh, a little bit of a kind of a bib outfit. So this is going to be the front of it. I kind of made a little bit of a v-neck. So my mom wanted a um, a little um, garden gnome. So I was trying to think of kind of like a little romper that she's gonna be wearing. So I'm kind of cutting down little strips and we're gonna kind of make it look like she's wearing like a little sundress or kind of like a little romper, like I said. So this is gonna be the front and I'm gonna have to kind of piece this together. So I'm just kind of gluing down the front of it and then from the, from the side here, I'm gonna glue down our little handle. So this is kind of where I screwed up because I didn't, I'm going to make arms for her and I want her to have the arms go through these little strips. Well, I ended up gluing the strips down. Excuse me. I ended up gl gluing the strips down. 
So you'll see me struggle a little bit later, but we'll get to that. Anyway, I wanted them to crisscross and back, kind of like like little bibs or whatever. And then this is kind of where I'm kind of kind of piece it together, like I said. I wanted it to make it look like a f finished piece. So I'm just grabbing another piece of that sock and then kind of just folding it around. I am going to have to grab another piece and finish off that one side there. So here I'm just cutting it off and just kind of piecing, piecing it together. So here I grabbed a couple of little buttons for her little dress. And then I grabbed a couple of little beads and then I have this like, it's almost kind of like a little um, stretchy material. I don't even know where I got it you guys. But I'm using this and I'm going to make her kind of like a little pearl necklace. And I'm just kind of tying it around her neck and then I cut the excess of it off and back. See, that's kind of what it's going to look like. Um, so here's where, well, this is, no, I was going to say, I don't think I do. I, I kind of fold it up like I was going to put the nose on and then I decided I was going to, she needed a little pocket for her on her little dress. Like I said, I was kind of going for a bib or kind of like a little romper thing. So I thought it would be really cute for her to have like a little pocket for her on front of her little, her little outfit. So now we're gonna make her her arms here. Um, I am grabbing a couple of uh, pipe cleaners. Um, I'm just cutting a, a piece of that sock and and then I'm cutting it in half and then cutting it again. And now I'm gonna fold the pipe cleaner just to kind of in the size of that um, a piece of fabric and then I'm just gonna glue it down and then roll and then glue it down again and roll and then once that's done this is where I'm struggling um, kind of Learn from my mistake. I kind of do get the little heat gun out to try to loosen up that glue a little bit. I want the arm to go underneath the little blue um yeah the little blue straps that we made for her dress. I want it to make it look like it's authentic. So I do get a little spot there and then I'm gonna tuck it underneath her hat as well and what's nice about the pipe cleaners you guys and that's kind of why I used them is that you can bend the arms her arms are gonna kind of be glued down a little bit to her though because she's gonna be holding stuff in both arms so I do the same thing to the other side I kind of find that little hole underneath where I can stuff it through that armhole and then I'm kind of just kind of glue the arm down and like I said you can bend these to where you want them to kind of look like they are folded and stuff. You're also going to put a little bit of hot glue in the the rolled up spot and then you're gonna just stick your little bead down this one I was having a little bit of issues I usually try to get down enough to where you can't see the bead 
but not down enough to where you can't see the bead at all. And then this is kind of where we're going to do our little nose. And I do it underneath the hat and then I'll tuck the other bead hole to where it's on the body to where you can't see the holes. And then we're going to oh, glue, glue the back of the hat down because otherwise if you stuff the hat sometimes it'll come apart. So keep that in mind too. Oh and now we're going to glue her little braids down. I, I got these off of Amazon a long time ago. I chose this color because my mom's hair color is this color. It's kind of like a dirty dishwater blonde. Um, now we're going to stuff her hat. And that's going to be kind of your preference too, guys. It depends on how high you want her hat or whatever. So I got these from Dollar Tree. Um, I kind of just wanted... Since she's going to be a garden gnome, I thought, you know, a shovel. Um, I just kind of wanted the top of the shovel head. And then I'm going to kind of glue, um, glue it down to another piece of wood. Uh, metal is not... It's not hot glue friendly. I mean, it's it's just not. So I was having issues, and I knew that. I mean, going into this, it was kind of dumb on my part. But I did glue it down a couple different times, and then once I got it glued down to her arm and stuff, it came unglued again. So yeah, so I glued it down to her arm. I had her kind of holding it towards her body, and then it came unglued again. So then I kind of glued it to her hat to where it wasn't going to move. And then I grabbed this little pot um, and I stuffed a little bit of moss down in it. Trimmed it up a little. Uh, I think the little pots came from Amazon, or not Amazon, um, uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just gonna put that on her little hand. I do glue the little pot down to her, her romper. And then I grabbed these little flowers, and I thought it would just be really cute if she had little flowers in her little pocket, and on her, uh, on her outfit there. So I did that. And then I grabbed this little greenery. It kind of looked like a tomato plant to me, so I thought that would be cute in her little pot. So I glued that down into her little pot. And then um, I moved on to this. Uh, this is actually, I don't remember what year this is. This is one of the calendars. Um, I'm just cutting this little picture in the back here. Um, I don't remember what it says. It says gardens. Oh, I don't remember what it says. It's like garden grow seeds or something like that. It's like rules of the garden. And I just cut it down to size and I'm gluing it right down to her little hat. I wanted something for her hat to make it more of a garden gnome. And I do have a picture of her at the very end of this DIY. So to kind of show what she looks like. Because like I said, she's not at the final reveal. She is at my mom's place now because I gave it to her for her Mother's Day. So. I hope you like her. Like I said, she's a little bit more detailed. DIY number three. So here's our little body. Like I said, I wasn't going to show you that other thing again. Um, so I cut the sock already and I cut it to the length that I wanted. Um, I did cut the tip of the sock off this time because I, I didn't want it to be upside down. So here I'm just going to fold in that edge there and I'm kind of stretching it a little bit to where um, it would fit over because the glue kind of makes it stiff. I want it to make it 
I, I do this because I want it to have more of a a cuff look to it. I don't want it to just be a frayed edge. Like it looks like you cut it. So that's why I'm doing this. And then I'm going to flip it back out and put it on our little our little guy's head. Um, I do get this little red beard. And I'm going to glue that down. Make sure you glue your beards down really good, sides and everything. I don't show me glowing everything, but this one's just going to be kind of a basic gnome. Um, just kind of fluffing the area out for his little nose, and we're just going to glue the little nose right down, and then put a little hot glue on top of the nose, and then stick the hat right down. Glue the hat down and back. And then we're gonna stuff his little hat. And that's, again, it's going to depend on what you want. It's going to depend on how full you want his hat, how thick. Um, how tall, if you want it slouchy, whatever. I mean, that's just going to depend on you. Because you can determine whatever you want to do. And then I just grab a little rubber band. And tie it right up to the top. I do grab some twine and tie that to the top of it just to give it a little bit extra detail and tie it in a little bow just to give it like a little finishing touch. And he is done. Like again, more in the final reveal guys. DIY number four. This one's going to be our little patriotic gnome. Again, I used the blue sock. This one I made really, like, short and chubby. Um, and then I'm going to use one of these little red hats. I did not realize that these hats were so flimsy, you guys. This is the first time I ever used one of these. Um, I did also not realize that they were that see-through. Um, so I ended up taking everything off of it, staples and this little paper thing. I did save that because I'm going to use that again. Um, I go over it with some apple barrel paint. I did go over it with also some Mod Podge because it's so slick. And then I'm going over it with hot glue. Now, warning on the hot glue, these because these are so flimsy the hot glue melts these hats like no other and I did not realize that either I put that hot glue on there and it cracked it and melted the inside of it um, it also melted it when I stuck it down to his little nose so beware on the hot glue thing um, if there is other alternatives I would suggest that but it will warp your hat extremely bad um, so yeah, keep that in mind. But, uh, just glued it down. Now I'm kind of just spurfing up his little beard there. I do add a little detail to his hat. Um, I kind of turned him into a little bit of a, pardon my term of phrase, but a little redneck. <laughs> um, I decided I was going to put America on his hat. So, DIY number five. I should have added pictures, you guys. I am sorry. I've been forgetting to do that lately. So here's our little SpongeBob gnome. I started off with um, 
brown sock and I did the same thing I did the last one and just um, framed out the sock down the below because I cut off the that rim and I just did like what I did before and I just turned it inside out and went along the edge with the hot glue and here we're going in with a kind of like a kind of like a cream creamy white or creamy yellow um, beard and then we're gonna glue down our little nose here um, Like I said, I usually put the hot glue where the little bead hole is if I'm using ones with bead holes. And and that usually is where I put, put it down wherever it needs to be because then it hides that little hole. Um, here I'm just tying it off with that little rubber band. Um, I do add uh, arms to him. Um, I'm just doing it the same way as I did uh, with my mom's gnome. I am adding the pipe cleaners and everything to him. I didn't know I showed this again. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just gluing them down. Um, basically the same thing I did before. I'm going to stuff him up on his little, under his little hat area here. Um, I did already put the beads in there in his little hands. Um, and then I'm going to glue him down in there. I do have this little uh, cheeseburger little thing because it kind of looked like um like one of the little Krabby Patties. I don't like Spongebob, but I do know a little bit about him. I never watched it, but I do know some. Um, these are actually... I got these from Target, like, a couple years ago. But they're actually, like, little erasers. So they're kind of... One of his hands was not allowing it to stick... It sticks there, but in my final reveal, he's not holding it with both hands. Anyway, DIY number six. And I love how this one turned out. I love this beard on him. Um, I start out with the orange sock. And this is the beard that I chose. And I flip and think it's so cute. And I went in with the Cheeto, Flaming Hot Cheetos. Um, I did the same thing with this sock as well because again I don't want the words and stuff upside down. I'm just straighten it out and I'm figuring out where I want to cut it. This one I am going to go with a little bit longer hat. Um, so I cut it ab uh, about, yeah, right above that second Cheetos. Um, I glue in the back. I'm not going to add any arms to him. He's just going to be a basic little gnome. Um, I do stuff... I do stuff his hat pretty full. And I'm just going to grab him, um, bunch it up there, grab a little more band. Tie it off again. I do grab some twine again with him, I believe, and tie it off because I want to add some detail. Yeah, there we go. And then I grab, um, I got some more beads that I found in my stash that were bigger, that had no hole in them. <laughs> These, I decided to give them a bigger nose, but it's cute. I, I thought he was adorable. So, we're going to glue that right down. And here's the final reveal, you guys. I hope you enjoyed.
Let me know down below which one you like. I absolutely adore every single one of them. I mean, granted, I'm not a big fan of... Of, uh... Spongebob, but I even think he turned out cute. But my absolute favorite were these little mushroom dudes, you guys. They are so cute. That little blue one stole my heart. Like, he is my absolute favorite. I want to keep him. They are so cute. I'm going to have to make some more. Oh my goodness. Like, they are so cute. Let me know down below, you guys, which one's your favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will have another one because, like I said, I had to cut it in half, so I have more gnomes. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. God bless, and...